Are you right, guys? My name's Sammy from Pioneer DJ, and I'm back at the DJ shop to look at our new all-in-one system, the XDJ RR. Let's go in and take a closer look at the unit. First of all, what we're going to do is look at the layout and feel of the unit. So it's very lightweight and portable with handles on the side. It also inherits many features from our Nexus 2 setup. And let me go in and explain a little bit more about that. So here at the top of the deck side, we have our loop in and loop out section. Just to the right of that, we have our Q call and then vinyl mode, CD mode, sync master, and then your tempo adjust. This section here is very similar to our Nexus 2 setup. Just down from that, we have our performance controls. And here we have hot cue, beat loop, slip loop, beat jump, and then a secondary option, which is almost an extension of the first option. Just to the left of this, we have track search, and then you can search for your track almost like needle drop. One of the reasons why I really like this deck side is because I do feel like I'm using a CDJ Nexus 2, which is great for someone that is practicing at home and wants to walk into a club and feel at home. Now moving over to the mixer section and we're going to see what features we have in here that are represented within the DJM range of our mixers. So here we have free band EQ with trim. On the left hand side at the top we have aux that has line and portable. Line is to plug in an external CDJ and portable is to plug something in like a iPhone or an iPad and then we also have trim for your volume. Just below that we have our four sound color effects. Now this is very apparent on all our mixers and it's great that we have filter, noise, dub echo and pitch. Again you're going to find this in the same position in our DJM range. Just below that we have our headphones, cue to master and then our level adjust. Now on the right hand side of the mixer is where you're going to find your beat effects. So here you have a switchboard with three different beat effects. We have echo, reverb and flanger. A switchboard to switch between deck one, deck two and master. Your level depth and then your trigger on and off. What I really like about this mixer is nice, tight, compact but it has everything you need. And again, when I'm using this at home, it is very similar to when I'm using a DJM 900 Nexus 2 in the club. Moving up from that, we're going to now look at our screen our dual USBs and the mic input. So the top right hand side of the unit we have dual USB which means that you can plug in two USBs meaning you can go back to back with another DJ or change over to the next DJ seamlessly. Another great feature that I really like is the master record function and this means that when you have the second USB plugged in you can record a WAV file straight onto the USB and also track mark your mix. This is great if you want to upload your mix to YouTube, Facebook, SoundCloud or Mixcloud. One of my favourite features of the XDJ RR is the 7 inch large screen. Few reasons why I like this, so we've got two waveforms here clearly displayed. This means that when you're beat matching it becomes a lot more easier because if you've gridded your tracks correctly all you have to do is line up the red markers. This screen also displays your cue points, hot cues, and also what key you're in. To the right hand side, we have your beat effects. So it says up here, if you've selected it on or off by turning blue, it shows you what channel you're on, channel one, channel two, or master, and then also shows you your beats divides there. Another thing, our rotary selector is the same rotary selector from our Nexus 2 range, meaning that you can zoom in and out to your waveforms. Just to the top of the screen, we have our search option, which allows you to go through the alphabet and type in which tune you'd like to get up, tag option, information, and your utility settings. Just to the left hand side of this, we have mini, which means you can connect a laptop to the unit, USB 1 and USB 2. If you are using a laptop and you'd like to use more performance controls, you can also buy the DDJ XP1, which allows up to 34 extra performance pads for you to play with with the controller. On the left hand side of the screen, we have the mic input. Here we have level, two band EQ with a low and a high. We also on the switchboard have on and talk over. 
Now this unit is also great if you do go out and do a lot of conferences and weddings. You have the one mic input there, you can still use your laptop if you're a laptop DJ, but then again you've got the option to use the USB. At the front of the unit we have two headphone inputs. We have a quarter inch jack and a mini jack. To the right of that we have a crossfader switchboard that allows you to go through three different options. At the back of the unit we have XLR for your master and RCA. To the right of that we have your USB input to connect to a laptop. We also have RCA for your aux and a combi jack for your mic. Before we finish up I'm going to take you guys through the sound colour effects and beat effects so you can hear what they sound like. First thing we're going to look at is our sound colour effects. Filter. Dub Echo And this next one is Pitch Now we're going to have a little look at our beat effects. Now we're going to look at reverb. And flanger. So that guys is the XDJRR. What we have here is an all-in-one DJ system which is lightweight and portable. We have dual USB, 7 inch screen and it has a lot of DNA from our Nexus 2 range. It's a great unit if you want to use it at home or on the road. If you like what you see, get yourself down to the DJ shop and come and have a look for yourself. Or also, you can go online and check out the information there. Till next time.